Hi, this is Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas. Today we have a fun tutorial over how to kind of piece together your HTV when you're doing multicolors of glitter. Now, this is a Bell & Canvas Flowy Racerback Tank. They're not on our website yet, but if you're interested in them, you can take and message us and we can PayPal and ship them. So, the design for this should be on the side at this point. It is a fun little anchor design that I drew by hand. So, we'll go ahead and weed off the excess material for each part of the design first. Now, this is the handy dandy weed tool. It's on our website. Um, and these colors of HTV are not on there yet, but as I said, we if you're interested in them, we can PayPal and ship. This is the Confetti Silver Glitter. This is the Hollow Green, and then I have a few other colors. Hold on. Let's go ahead and weed this. And I'm so in love with all these holographic glitter colors, and I figured this would be a fun design and all that noise in the background. I'm sorry, that is my little one, Cameron. He just got out of school, so he can drive you nuts a little bit. So. That part's weeded. So, and then this is the light green holographic as well, which I love, love this, this color. Notice a trend. Everything that I'm using today has the hollow or rainbow glitter in it. It's so pretty whenever you have it on and it catches the light so well. Now, one of the things we are going to do is I should hopefully have the software in sometime this week and you'll have to give me a little bit of time. This is the neon purple holographic glitter um, for the learning curve of figuring out how to use it so that way I can record these videos for Silhouette and Cricut so I can record step by step on the cutting process of it. But we were thinking, if y'all are interested, so y'all need to let me know, of making kits that include all the vinyl colors and then you'll be able to watch the video and do it step by step with us on the on our YouTube channel and all you'd purchase is the kit that includes the SVG, the whatever the HTV or adhesive is going on and all of the adhesive that you need or HTV that you need for the video itself. Now this is the neon coral. I am absolutely in love with this. Again, this is going to be a fun little tutorial. So, got another little piece stuck over there. This is the neon aqua. Again, another one of my favorites. And as you can see, when you use a, the right blade, now I cut these on the Cricut, you can cut this on the Silhouette as well, it makes weeding glitter a dream. And then last but not least is our Rainbow Yellow. Which I've used a lot of these colors over and over lately, but they do make me happy. I love anything bright and sparkly, as y'all can tell. I mean, hello. So, this is the anchor design. So what we're gonna do is take our t-shirt guide, lay it on our heat press, top corners up, and fold our design in half, which this one you really didn't have to because it's very easy. So I'm bringing this up closer to the neck because this is a it isn't a crew neck it is more of a scoop neck so you want it closer up to the top instead of lower so we'll cover it with our teflon sheet And we're only going to take and heat and my heat press is set on 330 degrees 
and it's set on 15 seconds, but my Teflon sheet stuck. But I've been doing direct to garment. Everybody asks what these machines are. I have a direct to garment printer that will print directly on to fabric, which is kind of cool. But the problem with it is, is it gets everything super duper sticky. So there's the first part of the design. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a set of our green leaves to put on here. I think we're gonna start with the other one first. And you could do your leaves all in one color. You can do your flowers all in one color. I like the idea of having all these beautiful colors kind of intertwined on the design. But you can kind of see what the general idea of this is just to kind of piece everything in together. And hibiscus again is one of my favorites. I need to lift that up just a hair. go. Oh. See my little blue dot on here? I need to remove that so it doesn't get stuck to the shirt. Okay. So again, we're just tacking this on. We're not going to heat it for the full time until we put the last color on. So we'll do this for about six seconds. Grab my Teflon sheet. But you can see how beautifully this is going to turn out once we get all those gorgeous colors on here. But you can see what I mean by kind of piecing this together. We're just taking and fitting everything in where it's not overlapping, but as you can see, it pieces together beautifully. And as you can see, I like to, part of the reason why I chose the two different greens is I like the dimension for the leaves to have a little bit of depth to them so choosing two separate colors made that a possibility so there's that now we can grab one of our flowers or maybe even two let's see that one there okay as I said it's just like putting together a puzzle and remembering where everything went And that one will go there, and that one goes over there. So, we've got that put together. We'll heat that, and then we'll add our last two colors. Okay. Oop. 
recommend doing that, but it's okay. We can fix it. Put that piece in there. Okay, we'll go ahead and heat this on. And let me flip my foot pedal back over. It's normally quite a busy day at the store and trying to make time to do the videos and get the orders shipped out. So, again, if y'all are interested in the kits, please let me know. We do enjoy doing these though. It has really helped my creativity grow as well. So we'll put that one on and then we'll do the last little part. But I mean, again, this takes a little bit longer because we're taking and having to piece all this in and you could take and weed and stick as you went. I like to do it this way. And then, last but not least, the purple one. Put that piece on. Now we're going to take and heat it for the full 15 seconds. We'll remove the last piece of the clear transfer tape that's built in and then we will reheat it again just to make sure everything's good and stuck because to me, if everything's, well, not just to me, but if everything's applied properly, you can wash them, you can dry them, they will last, the vinyl will outlast these shirts themselves. I have shirts that, as I said, are years old and the vinyl looks brand new, the shirts not so much. But I'm also interested in hearing about what other kinds of tutorials y'all are interested in seeing us do to walk you through. As I said, I absolutely love doing this. This is my favorite thing in the world. I would have never known that this is where my life would take me, but it kind of has. And But as you can see, with all the colors and everything on, it is absolutely gorgeous. And the way that that holographic catches the light, as you can kind of see as you move it around, it's so stunning on. So, remember we're still doing our scrap box on May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. And if you are subscribed to our channel, that gives you one entry. If you like our Facebook page and share our post, that gives you another entry. If you've already liked, just share the page that is another entry as i said um, any purchases made online between now and may the 4th and any purchases made in store between now and may the 4th give you extra entries as well remember hit that like button go ahead and hit subscribe and let me know if you like this kind of tutorial or if there's other things that you want to see thanks and y'all have a great day